New details tonight on a murder at Intel's campus in Chandler. It happened Saturday morning involving three employees. Police say one man was beaten to death and a second man was injured. The alleged attacker is behind bars tonight. Fox 10's Lauren Clark is live with details. Lauren. Well, Linda and Brian, tonight we're learning more details specifically about the weapons used in this alleged attack, including a baseball bat, a hatchet, and a knife. All of this according to documents obtained by the AP, saying Simmons is facing some very serious charges. A baseball bat, a hatchet, and a knife. Those are the weapons mentioned in court documents in an apparent brutal attack at Intel's Ocotillo's campus Saturday morning. Per those records, a man was found dead with blunt force trauma at the campus's cafeteria just after 6 in the morning. Another man was apparently found with injuries and taken to the hospital. He's expected to survive. Chandler police say this man, 50 year old Derek Simmons, is responsible. Per records, he was spotted carrying two duffel bags outside the building. Police believe the men were co workers, but a motive for the attack remains unclear. Simmons is now facing charges of homicide and assault. During his initial appearance, Simmons' bond was set at half a million dollars cash. He asked the judge a question clarifying the conditions. Yo, yeah, can you go to that last part you just said? About the no victim contact? Yeah. All right, so right, so you can have no contact with any victims. You also cannot have any contact with anyone basically connected to any of the, uh, either the victim or in particular, uh, the deceased victim. So no family, no friends, no one connected with the deceased victim. As for Intel, a spokesperson sent over this statement. After the tragic incident at our Ocotillo campus on Saturday, Intel security are working with Chandler police as they conduct their investigation. And we also press that Intel representative tell us more about security measures here at Intel's campus. And while she did say they have a security team, declined to say anything further. Reporting live here in Chandler, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.